stop breathing. A boy is coming close. Sit still on that table. Quit clowning, <laughs> no chatter. Entice, entice with your proud raised name laid out in fanciful script. Spine straight, pages combed, all your sails roped and knotted. Be a handsome picture ship ready in a peaceful green harbor. Good. The cover is opened to a window of sky. A page is turned. A wind frisks the room. A finger lands on the skull and cross, and two small hands pull the slickened bones out. Soon, letters mound into seething anthills. With a flip, words stripe into zebras and snakes. With another flip, paragraph rafts bash together on the violent humpbacks of the high seas. Now we've got him, face wet, shoes lost, his hands growing hair, a sword tracing a crescent moon at his side. The map in the young boy's head opens like a blossom, then is wiped flat. With a quick intake of sea salt air, he knows, like so many have known before, past the wooden trunks of black coins, beyond the pages and pages of caves, deep into the center of the candlelight binding, he has found it. <laughs> the heavy iron door, rusted almost stiff, that leads to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs>